If you see ants going up and down your plant stems like this, just a bunch of them, and it seems like they have a mission, you likely have aphids or some other sucking insect that's sucking the juice out of your plants on the bottom of your leaves, just like these. This plant here has a much more serious aphid infestation than the other plant. This is an Asian long bean plant and they seem to be really prone to have aphids just in general. The other plant was an eggplant and it didn't appear to have any problems from the aphid infestation that it had. The plant was still growing, it was still fruiting and blooming. It would probably be doing better if it didn't have that pest problem. But this one here is starting to show some serious signs of decline. It's a sick plant at this point. I can see some leaf discoloration and I can see some puckering on the leaves. That's a sign that this plant is really having a lot of its sap sucked out of it and it's starting to suffer. Another sign that there is an aphid infestation is the sooty mold that's appearing on the leaves. So as you're walking through your gardens, take a look and see what signs you see of some potential pest problems so that you can take care of them before they get worse. The very first thing that you'll want to do is identify what you actually have going on. What animal, what insect or problem is your plant having? It may not be a bad problem. So, these two pictures here show a bunch of different types of insects and immediately I can see that there is a big ladybug there and it's actually actively eating one of those pest insects. That's good, that's what we want. That natural balance of predator prey. Ideally what would happen is that this population of ladybugs and lace wings like you see in that second picture, those insects there with the larger wings, Ideally, that population would already be established, but to be honest, in the city, it's just, it's not usually, unless you have a thriving year-round garden and a lot of neighbors around you who don't use chemicals. So you may need to let your pests exist for a little bit longer to attract those predator insects. I encourage you to avoid using pesticides or even soaps in your garden, at least at first, until you have some of these predators established in your garden. Every time you use a pesticide, you kill all of the insects, the good ones and the bad ones. And as you can probably imagine, those aphids and those mealybugs, they're all going to repopulate faster than the predator insects. So you're gonna be putting yourself into a cycle where you're killing your bad bugs and your good bugs, your bad bugs come back and you kill them again and then your good bugs just never come. So you're going to be relying on those pesticides to keep your garden healthy. They're not actually keeping your garden healthy, it's like a band-aid. So a really healthy garden will have this thriving balanced ecosystem with both predators and prey. So these insects here, the aphids and the lacewings, they're already eating these pests. I might just leave this alone and see what happens. I may give it a little spray with some water. If I didn't see these predator insects here, I would spray this plant with water. I just give it a spray with the water, it blast off those aphids and the mealybugs or what, whatever is there. Yes, they'll come back, but for now the, the plant is getting a little bit of relief. It's important to become familiar with different life stages of those predator insects. Here we have a ladybug. There is the larva stage on the bottom. It looks kind of like a little armored spiky creature. Then there's the pupa stage and the ladybug, the adult ladybug that we're all familiar with. The larva stage ladybug will actually eat way more aphids and pest insects than the adults. So try not to smush these guys. Another one that you might see is the hoverfly larva. It looks kind of like a caterpillar. So this may be tempting to smush, but they're good guys, try not to. They will eat the aphids and other pest insects as well. And then the next thing we see here is a green lacewing 
and its eggs. Those eggs are the little hairs with the little white dots on them. Sometimes you'll see a cluster, sometimes you'll see a line, sometimes you'll see one or two at a time. Either way, if you see a leaf or even a vegetable or something with these eggs on it, just leave it alone. I often see these on my Malabar spinach this summer, so I've been checking under the leaves before I harvest it to bring it to the house because I want to make sure I have as many of these guys as possible. <laughs> 